As I'd mentioned before, Shabbos, that this is the Shabbos of the International Kinesh HaShluchim, the annual Kinesh HaShluchim. Normally we would have all gathered by the Rebbe's shul in 770. Due to circumstances today, we gather with the Rebbe, all of us together, but on Zoom, online. The power is different, but very, very meaningful. The theme of the uh, Kinders this year is Schlichus under all circumstances and to prepare ourselves to welcome Mashiach. As we know, the way to prepare ourselves and the entire world to Mashiach is as the Rebbe's message that every single Jew counts, every single individual counts. So I want to share with you today a story which tremendously impressed me. The real example, a living example of what it means caring about one individual. So the story goes that a group of Yerushalayim Abachim, not Chabad, decided they also want to do Mifzat Tefillin. They want to stand on the street and put up a table, invite people, give them the opportunity to put on Tefillin. They took a little folding table, they set up shop on King Shlomo HaMelech Street, Rechav Shlomo HaMelech, King Solomon Street in Jerusalem, a busy neighborhood and inviting passing by people to put on to fill in. Some stopped, some didn't stop. Then an individual who walks by, like seemed to be very busy, and they ask him, and he shrugged them off, and he moved on. But then they realized that he didn't go too far, he just went into the store, which was close to where they set up shop. So they thought that maybe he feels offended the fact that they put a table close to his store, so they walked over to him and says, "Im ze mafria la chayv des bades, you we can move away." No, ze la mafria la, that's lichot. So he said, "So maybe you want to put on tefillin?" No. Why? I already put them on, and I'll tell you why I put them on. He says, "Many years ago, on one of my trips to China for business, which I would do quite often, I realized upon arriving." to my hotel in China that I forgot my tefillin. And although I wasn't the person to put on tefillin every day, but I'd like to have them with me, especially when I travel for quite a while, for a two week trip, I wanna have those tefillin with me. Not knowing what to do, I figured I'm gonna call my office in the in Yotisrol, ask him to FedEx it to me. But then as I came to the counter, to the receptionist of the hotel, I saw there's a little card, a business card. Chaver, my friend, if you need anything Jewish related, call me and there's a phone number. Written in Hebrew, never know what this is, but he goes up to his room, he makes the phone call, he says, and he uh, gets a response, yes, Ani Rav Zehuzeh, I'm a And he said, and I explained to him, look, I'm here, I forgot my tefillin. Where are you? I give him the name of the hotel, the name of the place, the city where I am. And then suddenly this person becomes very abrupt and says, listen to me, in eight hours exactly from now, meet me at this and this place at the pier. Bye, you got it, you have the place, perfect, in eight hours exactly. And he puts the phone down. Now the whole day I was put through by this. Didn't make any sense. But at the, at the end of the day, eight hours later, my curiosity got the better of me and I went over. And this is on the pier. Suddenly I see a kind of a boat, passenger boat, anchors, and I see a Chabadnik jumping out of this boat and looking all over the place. And suddenly I notice him, he notices me. You're looking for me, I'm looking for you. And he comes over to me and he says, Meher, 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 quickly, roll up your sleeve, let's put on the tefillin. Okay, I did it. After this happened, he finally relaxed and says, let me explain to you something. When you called me, I was eight hours away from where you were. I know this trip and I saw my watch. If I leave immediately, I have a good chance of making the boat and coming to you on time because there was only 10 minutes left to the Shkia for you to be able to put on the tefillin today. So I didn't want to waste my time talking to you. Here I am, here the tefillin, Enjoy them for the next two weeks. Before you leave, 
call me and I'll tell you where to leave them so I should be able to recuperate them. So this man says, if a person could travel 16 hours, eight hours each way, for a total stranger to put out the fill in, even just one time more, because he could have come the next day, okay, I wouldn't put out fill in today, I would put out fill in, but he wanted to make sure that I should be able to put out fill in today before sunset, before the shkia. I have no excuse of not putting him on. That's what the Rebbe expects from his shluchim. And this is what the Rebbe gives the strength shluchim to be able to do. So with this concept of Yidach Mimane Nidach, Rebbeinu Shuleilam, shluchim do their job, have done their job. The world is ready for the one Mashiach. Make it happen today.